Hi guys, it's John Pratt from South Africa here. Oh, nice. I just thought that uh, after hearing all the Australians, perhaps you guys nice. in the States and elsewhere would think that Australia is the only country in the Southern Hemisphere that plays disc golf. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're trying desperately here to to get disc golf on the map and get it, you know, accepted by the sports bodies and stuff because at the moment they still think that it's a bit like uh, yo-yos and dingbats and stuff. So. <laughs> Um, How can I my help? question is Dang basically man. geared towards disc golf course design. And um, what would you guys recommend to do? And also, what would you recommend not to do? Uh, the courses that I'm kind of designing at the moment, with very little experience, is uh, I'm kind of trying to gear it towards um, newbies and not getting them totally demoralized with seriously difficult holes to play at the beginning but also to make the course challenging enough for people who've gone beyond that newbie stage and getting to the mm -hmm. novice and maybe advanced stages as well so that that course can last and uh you know putting different teasing and so on and so forth um we've got some unique problems here but we're not going to get into that so basically thanks a lot you guys are a constant source of information and inspiration and uh thanks a lot for the show keep it real cheers Thanks, man. Okay, I don't, I don't mean to nerd out for a second, but that's really from cool. South Africa, that's no, super cool. Thank you well, so much for calling. Australians in. have a really cool accent. New, uh -huh. New Zealanders do as well. South Africa has, I, I think, also a really cool, interesting yeah. accent. That's, I think, pretty distinguistable. So it's, yeah, it's cool I to hear from somebody. It's cool from there. That, that, yeah, that's okay. awesome. So yeah. what do you got for me? I'm, I'm all in. Just you know, let me know when I need fly to fly him out. out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you about um, it in person. Man, that'd be so much fun. Um, I think, I think you're on the right track. Uh, it, you know, it depends on what the, kind of the property that you have to work with, uh, what what it'll allow. But you're absolutely on the right track as far as making it more beginner, noob-style friendly course. Because worst thing you want to do is put in a big, tough championship-level course with water everywhere. Right, and Just and discourage people. Just discourage people from even wanting to, to, to pick up the game. So one thing that you can really do that, that's such an easy thing is two different tees. You know, um, the shorter tees that, that a lot of people, you know, we have, we, we actually just recently installed a bunch of short tees here in Emporia at Pan West and uh, Jones East. And I see a lot of people playing them now. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were discouraged from going out and playing Jones East because it's, it's a tough, you yeah, know, it's difficult. upper advanced, lower pro level course that uh, it, it can be very difficult and discouraging that, you know, it's so. I see a lot of people going out there and, and playing short tees, and, and I think that really helps benefit the sport. It helps uh, get people involved, especially in a, in a in a country where, I mean, how many courses do they even have in, in South right. South Africa? I mean, I can't imagine that very many. So um, just keep it easy. Keep safety, obviously, your number one priority. Uh, if there's walking paths or uh, anything like that, you want to kind of steer clear of that and playground equipment and and uh, keep distances as far from, uh, you know, your your next your next tee pad. You don't want it to be super close to the 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 basket, the previous right. hole. You know, D just common sense type stuff, um, and and just keep it really easy. And, and you know, when I'm installing a course like this, like I, it's similar to the one I just installed out in Western Kansas. Uh, what I like to do is 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 I'll come through and I'll design the more challenging course first. That gives you more room to work with on the property that way you can come in and put short tees in because if you right. go and do the short tees first then you have to expand it, yeah. it makes it a little more difficult yeah so absolutely go in and do the uh you know a little more challenging course first and then go back and then do the shorter tees and short tees are very important and keep them ridiculously easy to start agreed i'm looking at the the pdj disc golf course directory map and in south there looks like there's two two wow oh. the ones that are listed here are Royal Delta West and Royal Delta East, so on one land. Wow, wow. that's piece of that's property. Crazy. The Florence Bloom Bird Sanctuary is nearby. So I, mean, I think cool. we should probably just go check it out. Yeah, I mean, we probably I mean, interested. Yeah, yeah. that's really know. cool. Thanks for calling in. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. No 